Hey, I'm Andy, and this is One Finger Death Punch 2, and I've been a big fan of the first one, even though I wasn't really that good at it, and I was wondering what kind of new stuff they added in the second one. I see there's like Twitch integration, and there's more abilities, I think, but anyways, let's just get started with the levels. Now, in the first one, there used to be like a road map or a, an actual map, but it seems like there's only, I guess, level select in a better sense, but anyways. Do not button mash. Now the control scheme in this uh, game not the mash. is really simple. You got your mouse, you got your left click and your right click. So you uh, cannot move in this game. Wait for enemies to enter the zone. Yes, he Attack explains it enemies better. Are touching. <laughs> Press the right mouse button now to attack the enemy. Your mouse cursor can be anywhere on the screen. Wait for enemies to approach you. Fight using only the left and right mouse buttons. That's really simple. Just left and right click. Although there's some... Oh, too early. I can't believe I can't stop this one. Faster! Alright, let's go faster. Missing leaves you open to enemy attacks. Try not to miss. Oh. Yeah, I need, I need to be better. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time. But there used to be, in the first one, there used to be different enemies where you had to do multiple combinations of left, right, left, right, or whatever. But I'll probably get better over time, or probably get worse over time. And I think this was all based off the original Flash animation from Zhao Zhao. You are Mrs. More stars. Just can't believe it took that long for an actual game coming. Legendary. Anyways, I got all, all five stars apparently. And that was the first level. So this is basically the entirety of uh, One Finger Death Punch. But it's pretty fun, pretty simple. I don't know why they changed it from like the map area to like the, just a level select. But enemy count. Your life. Throwing weapons kill in one hit. Press attack to throw. Oh. Kinda of hard to concentrate and talk at the same time. Especially in a game like this. I mean, platformers. I can actually have some time to stop and talk, but. But this is just a non-stop barrage of enemies. Alright, I didn't die. Didn't miss once, but I didn't get any. I don't know if I don't know if there will be a map, but Oh, this is new. Oh, well, attack only once for each bar. Right to remove the red bar. Oh, the red I get it. The oh, it's similar to the other ones in the first one, but it looks different from my history. Attack left to remove the blue bar. Attack only once per bar. You have this entire zone to match the bars. Always oh, wow. the bottom up. That's a lot of. I guess in the future it's going to move faster. All right. Yeah, see how they add different types of enemies over time. Like it's a really simple concept, but there's a lot of depth to it. These ones you can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want as long as you attack within that box. That's cool. I'm gonna do no misses this time. Ten enemies dead. Alright, I don't think I missed that time. Yep, perfect. I perfected. Go 
well timed. <laughs> Don't be a perfectionist. What? Okay. Nice. Let's go on. I don't know how long I'm gonna do for this video or if I'm gonna do more of these. I just want to showcase this game because it's so simple yet so awesome. And I think at the time of this recording, it has an overwhelmingly positive re uh, review status on Steam. And I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested in this game. Fight. Maybe I'll go to level 10. Green enemies take two hits. See, now they're, they're introducing enemies that need two hits to uh, be removed. The... Oh, that was up close. I guess the background are somewhat more detailed than the previous one. Alright, there we go. And I guess there wasn't this much of a variety in music in the first one, but I haven't played the first one in ages, so I could be remembering things wrong. Oh, that was faster. And I remember, just like in the first one, if you do better... Oh, so you just do that. Oh, I missed. Oh. I don't know what I just said. Yeah, as I was saying, if you do better over time, the speed will increase, will, which will make it harder and harder. But then if you do worse, then I think the speed decreases, which makes it easier. So well, I think over time, you, you will find uh, the right level of speed and difficulty. But so far, we're getting all five stars, so that's good. Fight! Blue enemies will dodge your attacks. Enemies' hits are indicated below them. Where? Oh, yep, another type of enemy. The switcheroo. Oh, I messed up. I'm a, I keep messing up. Alright. What? I was not too early. They're also color coded, which helps a lot. You can also you can look at the character they are versus the bar on the bottom. Does that make sense? Some people might find the bar on the bottom easier. Some people might find the color coding easier. Legendary. All right, level six. Fight. Mob you round. can block these projectiles by attacking. I don't think I. I don't think there was a uh, blocking in the first one, so that might be new. Then again, like I said, it's been a while since I've played it, so. What have been the first one? I don't know. Alright. Oh, I, I, I blocked that. Dead enemies left. Locked it. All right. So far, it's pretty Legendary. okay. Not too hard. I mean, I am missing a few times, but I'm, apparently, I'm still getting five stars, so I'm doing something right. Catch the throwing weapons. Fight! You can grab these projectiles by attacking. Alright. Okay, catch the green one. Oh, this is 
Satisfying too. So simple, it's so oh, satisfying. The, the stick figure fighting, the original stick figure fighters were so so popular. At least to me, I think they were popular, but I don't know. Fight! It was back in the day. You can deflect these projectiles by attacking. Okay. <laughs> What? Oh, I pressed the wrong one. I don't think I'm gonna get five stars on this one. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting. I don't think I'm getting five stars on this one. I think there is some strategy to this, but. Not at a proficient enough level to do said strategies. Oh, that's new. Oh, wow, still five stars. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, two more levels and I'll stop for this video. It's just a small taste of what this game is like. Fight! You can dodge these projectiles by attacking. They will continue to travel behind you. Stay alert. Yeah, some of these DDR style ones are kind of long, some are short. I don't know if it's predetermined. Like, if I were to play the same level again, then the same bars will show up or something like that. Oh, I missed. Yeah, missing the dodge balls are tricky because you'll miss, but then you still want to hit the left. Or you want to hit the opposite one, so you'll hit that and it'll still kind of a miss. I guess that adds another layer to it. Oh. Ooh. Beat raise one percent. Legendary. All right, let's do the last level for this video: a boss fight. Fight! Oh, well, there's animation. <laughs> now with eyes. So I mean, do they get you more detailed over time as we well, increase the stages? Options. Oh, you can always you can customize it. I mean, sure, whatever. Bosses switch between brawlers and regular enemies. Take your time. Do not button mash. Yeah, button mash is bad. <laughs> you can't do button mash. I don't know if it's set to the rhythm of this song or if there's any rhythm at all, but. Oh, I messed up. I don't know how many levels there are. There we 
we go. Oh, we missed once. Oh, well. Hardly. Alright, we've done the first 10 levels of uh, One Finger Death Punch 2. And yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Like I said before, I'll link to it in the description down below to the Steam page if, for those that are interested. So yeah, I might do more. I might just play a few levels of my own, maybe to record later levels. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty fun. So until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.